Replacement screen door lock cylinders. Now, sometimes they're just referred to as profile cylinders. Sometimes they're referred to as Euro type cylinders or Euro profile cylinders. You know, one of those terms is gonna be used. Now, these type of cylinders are very common in a wide variety of different types of locks. Sometimes you'll find them on a Euro style lock uh, door. They seem to be more common on doors that have big windows um, in the middle of them. Uh, you'll find them on security um, screen doors or even like the storm doors. Now, the problem is though, a lot of times on the aftermarket doors, like the security or storm doors that get installed, well, the cylinder that's provided with that door does not match the house. So when you're out doing rekeys and that sort of thing, it's a great opportunity to not only upsell and make that job worth more, but even better, you can simplify your customer's key situation. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now the cylinders I'm gonna be going over today are the GMS aftermarket replacement profile cylinders. Now these cylinders come in three different options and depending on your situation, you're gonna need one of them. Now the first one is just gonna be your single sided profile cylinder. The next up is gonna be the double sided profile cylinder. And third is gonna be a single sided cylinder with a thumb turn on the other end. Now, the beauty of these cylinders though, is that you can get them in a wide variety of keyways. Now, just like all of GMS cylinders, they key up beautifully to the OEM specs. So if your customer has a quick set key um, to their house, but the storm door that came with it or the profile cylinder that came with one of the doors is a quick set, well, guess what? You can buy one of the quick set profile cylinders in the finish that matches the customer's existing finish, and you can get them on to one key. So not only is there a wide variety of keyways available, like quick set, Schlage, Yale, Weiser, and some others, but you can also get the finish that you need. So it's just a great, perfect combo. Now let's talk about the sizing of these cylinders. Now these are aftermarket replacement and um, I compared a lot of the OEM cylinders to the GMS specs and they're pretty darn close, all within like a millimeter or two, which is really great because you can really tell that they tried to make them more like as universal as they could. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera, I'll put it up top here, and let's uh, look at this cylinder up close. And there's one thing that's really important that you need to make sure that you know when it comes to these profile cylinders. All right, so let's talk about this uh, profile lock here for a few moments. Now, I, this is a, a quick set keyway, so it's a uh, keyway on one end and then a thumb turn on the other. And as you can see how this works is it just, act, it just uh, the key or the thumb turn really just activates this, um, this activator right here to open and close the lock. Now, something interesting, when you go to take these out of the door, of course, on the uh, jam side of the door, there's gonna be this screw here. Unfortunately, I don't have any of these that I can uh, show you how to take them out, but they're pretty simple. Of course, you need to make sure that you align the activator here um, so it can slide in and out. And depending on the application, you might need to uh, take off the uh, thumb turn here as well. Now, let's uh, talk about the specifics though, because there's something really important that you need to know, and that is these, GMS um, profile cylinders, no matter if it's the single, the double, or the one with the T-turn, or the thumb turn here, um, it, they're only five pin, okay? So there's a variety of keyways, like I said, that you can um, order them in, but they're always only five pin. So you really need to keep that in mind. Now let's talk about rekeying these for a minute. And what makes these, you know, so nice over other ones is that A, they're easy to rekey. They don't have one of those weird little plastic type strips on the top. Um, they use little Allens um, and they key up to factory specs depending on what keyway that you have, um, just like OEM specs. So um, let's go ahead and let's take one of these out real quick and let's just uh, look at it, all right? So this is a 1.5 millimeter um, Allen wrench here. It's a little bent as you can see. It looks like some, we used it as a, uh, pry bar at some point, but let's go ahead here and let's um, take one of these out. So I get it put in here, just like that. I'm going to just set that to the side. All right, so let me just take this out here and you can see. So there's the spring, 
there's the top pin, and then lastly, you're gonna see the bottom pin. So in order for you to rekey these, is what you're gonna have to do is take all of the Allens out, you're gonna have to take all the springs, all the top pins, and all the bottom pins and or master pins, depending on what you're doing here. And then at that point, uh, when you are when you have it all out and you have your new key, you're just gonna pin it up um, like you normally would outside of you're gonna be adding in the uh, top pins and springs. Now, a good thing to always check on these, all right, is to, once you have it pinned up, um, before you put the Allens in, go ahead and just try and make it, make sure everything works. Now, once you have it all loaded back in, you have all five chambers done, at that point, you're just gonna put the, uh, oops, you're gonna put the uh, Allen wrench, or the Allen screw back in, and you're going to be done. All right, so there you have it. I really hope that you found this video helpful and useful. Make sure you download the PDF document in the notes below because it's gonna give you all the specs, all the keyways available, and of course, I'll include links to our website where you can order them as well. Now, I'd love to know what you think. Have you used these cylinders before? Do you work on a lot of profile or Euro style cylinders? Any help, any advice that you could give to the Lock Boss community would be awesome in the comments below. And make sure that you include the hashtag Lock Boss to automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes each week we give away here on YouTube. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Man, I don't know why, man, I get the camera on. My nose itches and my eyes itch. What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean? I guess now my chin itches. Everything itches when the camera goes live. But I don't know, please don't uh, put any of that in, man, what the heck. Okay, all right, let's do it, let's do it. All right. Is that they seem to be more common on doors that have big windows um, in the middle of them. Uh, you'll find them on security um, screen doors or screen doors. Screen doors. You can simplify your customer's key situation. So is what I want to do is I want to talk to you. So let's go ahead and dive in.